And here's the latest in a long lineup of machines that I have picked up for free. Obviously, as you can tell both from the title and by looking at this, this is a Dell Inspiron 530. Kind of a departure. I've never really been much of a fan of the Inspiron lineup. But I got a couple Inspiron laptops. Actually, no, sorry, I have one Inspiron laptop. And now I have this, which is a consumer-grade machine. We'll go ahead and have a look here. Looks like it's got a DVD burner in it. I don't actually remember. I mean, I put this thing together from parts of two of them, but I don't remember what all is in it. No floppy drive, but it has a card reader. Four USB ports right there, no firewire, or 1394, such as the case may be. Or the headphone microphone jacks. It's rather dirty. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about most of it. It doesn't seem to want to come off. It's also completely legacy free, no PS2 serial or parallel ports. So, thoroughly weenie modern computer. Here's the power supply. Almost looks like a best tech. It's not a best tech. It's a Delta. I do know that. But other than that, just your typical, you know, mid to late 2000s consumer grade desktop computer. It still has one of those stupid all in one card brackets I hate. But oh well, you can't really have everything, I suppose. Let's pop the cover. Here it is interior. It is a SATA optical drive. I don't know if this thing even has IDE at all. It doesn't look like it. There is a floppy connector right behind the uh, power plug right there, but there is no IDE. So that's a curious omission. Unless I just can't find it. No, I, there is no IDE slot. In fact, there isn't even an artifact for it. Ah, that is a curious omission, but whatever the case may be, I do know that it has a Q6600 CPU, um, as is typical for a lot of these things I've been picking up. I've not really been bothering with a whole lot of Pentium, with a lot of the Netburst stuff, because, you know, it's really not worth anything anymore. I may rejig these hard drives. I may not. I don't know. I may just leave it alone, because I really don't need a whole lot of storage for this. This is going to be a slideshow computer, and... 80 gigabytes on the old one was enough for both the OS and the slideshows, so this should be this should be more than good enough. It might even be overkill, but uh, there you go. There is a PCI Express power, which I won't actually need because the card I'm putting in, if I can find it here, doesn't require it. I do need the S video, so I have to put in this. But uh, well, the other option would be to put in the smaller card. This, uh, this one right here. This is a 7300 GT, but I'd rather put in the put in the larger one. Really, mostly just to see if it works, but also because I want that other card to be used for testing. Every time I test something, I don't want to put this massive card in. So, anyway, enough y yammering about that. Let's go ahead and begin the install process of Windows. And it's alive! With the big video card installed, I decided to put it in there right out of the box. So there you can see, probably an updated BIOS. 4 gigs of RAM. Here's our hard drives. 320 gigabytes? Okay, I'm gonna pull that out. And I'm actually going to just use the one drive for this, as opposed to having two drives. So that should lower the power usage a little bit. do have to remember that there are, I think there's about 40 watts on this, so it's using about 140 watts on its own. But I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here. You can see the power usage figure drops down quite a bit. So I'm going to pull out that hard drive. Um, actually, I'm going to put an SSD in this. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'll put in an SSD because I still have a couple of them sitting around, three of them to be exact. So I'll put in one of these SSDs and just go for an SSD out of the box. Okay, so I definitely cheated with this bracket because it doesn't have the screw holes to mount on the underside mounts on these. So I just put it in the empty five and a quarter inch bay with one screw. 
Hopefully it will be good enough there. It's an SSD, it's not going to vibrate or anything like that. So it should be fine. In the future I may have to get another bracket that will fit in here. But uh, we'll see. It's just these cheap Kingston brackets. So we'll get that out of the way. And we'll power the system back up. Well, we'll get the keyboard, wherever the keyboard has gone. And then we'll power the system back up. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Still works. So we'll see what that's managed to bring our power usage down to. Now we lost about 10 watts, but every little bit helps. I find it amusing that they didn't use two and three. That's uh, that's actually kind of funny, but. Alright, so let's see if this is what I think it is. Yeah, it should be Windows 8.1. Loading off of the USB stick now. Okay, doesn't really make a whole lot of noise. The system itself is actually really quiet. Well, the mouse is working, that's good. I'm curious, what is this power supply? Come on, focus. I can't really tell. 350. Yeah, probably a 350 watt. Yeah, it looks like a 350 watt power supply. So let me get my product key entered and we'll get setup going. I always did find it amusing that the setup utility was arrow, but the actual operating system itself was not. So we don't have much of a choice here. And that process should hopefully be rather quick. Alright, so here it is at the desktop. But as you can hear, something is running fast. I'm not really sure what the deal is. It's not like it's overheating or anything. So, I may need to do something about that. But I'm going to set up the programs, get all the drivers installed, and then we'll see where we go from there. I'll probably put it into place and see if the television output works, which I hope it does. Because that's kind of the whole reason why I set this up in the first place. Please do not power off, it says. Why do they say that? It just so sorely tempts me. Anyway. You can see quite how just how far out of date it was. So we'll see how long this takes. Yes, please reboot. I'm going to set up. You can see it is quite a bit different. This is the latest BIOS. There's no additional information, although the date and time is wrong. I'm a little disappointed that there isn't any fan speed control, and there is no AHCI. None of my settings have changed. I'm not really sure why the fan is running full speed. That's really kind of annoying, and it's probably going to put the brakes on my using this system for this task. Alright, it's in place. Power it up. Monitor is all the way over there. So I don't know if it's actually working. Wow, that really made the power usage shoot up. That thing is using a lot of energy. Alright. So now the next step is to see 
if we actually have output, which I suspect we don't, because that usually doesn't work. Alright. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not quite working. I need some, I have some work to do. 